Hey, watu. Upepo nayo. I think it upepo pia kwa kwa Christmas. It's the camera rolled a second time. No worries, we are marching on bravely. Um uh, we were talking about uh, the roles of our representatives and of our champions at GC 2022, God's Choices 2022. Uh, by the way, GC 2022 is not a registered group. It's just an interest move. If you're interested, if you feel this message in your heart, if you want to do what God has for this nation, GC 22 is for you. Join in, volunteer. Yeah. So, uh, it, GC 22 is a revival. It's a revival. I am declaring a revival in Kenya. And I'm doing this humbly. But this is a revival that will bring revolution to every sphere of the seven spheres of influence of the church. It will bring, this revival will bring revolution. The mountain of the Lord's house, Isaiah 2.2, 2, the mountain of the Lord's house will rise higher than all the other hills. Now atasema kuja tuende hapo. This is how we are doing it. This is how we are actualizing that prophetic word. So join in. It's for you. Stop calculating too much. Faith is risky. Jump in. Come. Become a representative. Become a champion. Become a volunteer. We need you. Not just me needing you. No. Mini Kopoa. Yeah. It's God who's needing you for this time. Remember uh, what what uh, Esther's uncle said to her. Yeah. By adventure, God has raised you up for such a time as this. So take up the position that God has laid in your heart within this revival. So anyway, um, sometimes it becomes heavy. Eh? Yeah. Uh, these representatives and champions, they will, they will champion God's agenda in their respective areas. Part of the activities they will be doing, they will lead or organize our national prayer campaign. We are kicking off a national prayer campaign, January to August, or to whenever the election will be. They, uh, they are, there is how God has desired for us to pray for this nation. And we will be doing it, even if it's virtually, their matter, God is everywhere, even on the internet. So they will be championing our prayer campaigns. And after, after next week, next week, in, in, in the next episode, rather, we'll be, we'll, we'll be dealing a little with, with what what God's agenda is after we elect uh, his choices. Then after that we'll be talking about, we'll go back to the first step that you, the viewer, must take. That is intercede for the nation. And we'll analyze that and hopefully as we go into January, into the beginning of the year, when most of us believers take time to, to pray and to fast, and to hear God, we will, we will be kicking off the prayer campaign, and we can we can uh, uh, unite uh, our prayers, our personal prayers that we'll be praying at that time, and uh, uh, and 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 uh, our our duty in God for this nation and for ourselves, even for our generations. So uh, they will be championing our pray our national prayer campaign. They will also be responsible for organizing the door-to-door -door outreaches. We intend to knock every door, speak to every individual in this nation. Yes, I am saying it. We are going to knock every door. We are bringing revolution to how politics is done. This will be one-on-one. -on -one. 
we will talk to every one of you. Those champions, those representatives will be organizing that outreach to tell everybody in Kenya what God is saying about our elected leadership and what actions we must take. Join in. Okay, can you, uh, you know, there will be also uh, C, they will coordinate the identification of the correct candidates. Remember, God has spoken uh, uh, about uh, our his, his desired presidential uh, candidate, Honorable Dr. William Ruto, the fifth president and the commander-in-chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, according to your uh, action in faith on the election day. So, but he's also, uh, I've had a few uh, uh, prophecies about uh, uh, particular individuals, especially in the role of governor. Uh, and that's good, and, and we want to know them, so we will vote for them also. Why? Because God said they are the person. I told you in a few episodes ago, this, this, some, some of these things, uh, God that removes uh, uh, our position to calculate who is the right person. Some of them he leaves for us to, to, to discern based on, on, on wise guidance. Yeah, and that's, that's the wise guidance is what we were talking about last episode. So uh, people who are not against the body of Christ, if somebody is openly against the church in Kenya, we said you cannot be against the body and for the head. You can't say you, you will vote for Honorable Dr. William Ruto to become president, but Makanisa and Ele Kufungwa, for example. You, if you support the head, you support the body. Those are pointers. And there are others. Check out last episode. So uh, they will coordinate the identification of correct candidates, right down from MCA in the ward. That's why we are calling them ward reps and campus champions. Then they will uh, also unite and, and elect in the constituency an MP and in the county, the senator and the governor, so that we have a full package of God's elected servants over this nation. I'm calling you the church. In, in due respect, I am a son. I'm your son. I'm your son. Your, you, many of you are, are my fathers and mothers. The rest of you are my brothers and sisters. I am calling you humbly. Rise up. Take your position in God. Not in politics. Take your position in the kingdom. That's why it's called a kingdom. A kingdom is a governance structure. This is what you have taught us. This is what the Holy Spirit has declared in us. So let's not, let's not let the cartels start organizing and supporting. You hear cartels supporting that candidate. Even our own candidate. Wengino, awujawana kitembelewa na islamu. Kwa nini? Wake up, nani? Wake up, church. Wake up. Wake up. Where is the church? Where is the body of Christ? Why are you not going there and saying that you, you have 10 million votes? By the way, we are looking for 10 million votes. That's why we want those representatives. We will be doing numbers. We will be do How do you think God's agenda is going, to be, is going to be manifested? How are you going to go to, to the president after he is elected to tell him, Oh, Mungu anataka. Lakini siku ya ye kuchaguliwa, you are nowhere. Amuku wako. We, we, we need to give him the votes so that he does not rely on cartels and tribal cocoons. Ameitwa ndio. Muko hapi nyinyi wako action. It's not enough to prophesy. It's not. We must take action. We must stand up. We must be counted. Na tuko wengi. 10 million votes ni kidogo kwa inchi hii. So, after, after identifying those candidates, so that he, he uh, to CPG, you, know, you know now he's relying on anyone who give him votes. Do unasikia, oh, uh, he's quoting Musalia. 
Oh, he's quoting sijui nani mwingine. It's not bad. But the church must be the one being quoted the most. It's us who should be being quoted the most. That's why GC 2022 is there. It's non-denominational. Hapa tubagui. It doesn't matter, provided you believe in Jesus. And even if you don't, provided you're willing to obey God's voice for this nation now. We dealt with that last time. Let's not be too religious here. Nikura tunataka. Pengine uenda wawa wenya wa muamini, wata muamini wakiona vile tunateka correct action. It's a church that should be quoted. And because we are in denominations, we have come up with this loose caucus called GC22. So that you, irrelevant of what church you go to, you will have a place to focus your effort, to focus your energy. Remember James, show me your faith, I'll show you my works. In the Otunakuita, works for the faith of what are of the servants of God, who God has placed over this nation and who he has sent into this nation, have said. Because they have, they, it's not enough to shout hallelujah, oh, mungu wa meongea, mungu wa natupenda, great apostolic mandate. This is how we are taking it. So we call you, humbly, I'm calling the entire church in Kenya, come and join into this movement, and let us actualize God's word for this nation. What else, with the, will, what else is in the role of the representatives and in the champions? They, are, they will be responsible to spearhead issue-based political discussion, issue-based political discourse in their localities. Yes, it is time now we took this nation back. Ikifika siku ya siyasa tunanza kuambiwa, oh, sisi ni wakabila fulani. Iyo ni kuondoa issues. Tuna, tuna, tu, we are sitting there and saying we are praying. Na katelza wanachafua inchi. The minute you, you appeal to an ethnic society for political backing, you have already taken us in the wrong direction. Umetupoteza. Umetupoteza. Colonial, colonialists, they divided us and ruled us. Even our, our, our sitting president, His Excellency, Uhuru Kinyata, he said the other day, it's on YouTube, these borders yours are two, thousands of years after Ziliwekwa, bado tunangangana nazo. We must remove them. That's what the president said. Hallelujah. Thank you for saying that, Mr. President. It's true. We need to do that. But it's not just national borders. These ethnic, tribal things. Ati o, tunakupea kura ya wakamba. Tunakupea kura ya waluya. Tunakupea kura ya wakikuyu, Mount Kenya. Yo, tumedanganywa. Ni uongo. We are tearing down our country that way. Church, you can't just be praying when, when cartels are preaching this day and night on, 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 on all media. In public, in rallies, in TV, everywhere. We can't just be praying. We need to put our own portion in there. And our portion is bigger than any one of theirs. It's bigger. Take correct action now. Put wax to your faith. Nani, see maombi too. See fasting too. See kumutakia vizuri too. Uh-uh. Haitatosha. If a friend comes to you, he is hungry and he is cold. Book of James. It's not enough to tell him, be blessed, go well, be satisfied and be warmed. Aren't you not reading the Bible? Today you can tell me, I'm a bit upset really. But, but let's, let's, let's now determine. We, we still have a bit of time to do the right thing. I am appealing to you humbly, most humbly, most humbly, take time off your busy schedules. Take, take time off your prayer agendas. I'm sure they are very important. I too have other things I'm praying for family and for other issues. 
But if we don't set this country in the correct direction, look at look at countries which have been wasted by their wrong leadership. Cheki Venezuela na vile ilikuwa na mafuta. Cheki Somalia hapa jirani yetu. Cheki Afghanistan. Ati wasichana hata haendi shule huko. Ni governors. Those guys they are not living their their good life. They are not living it to the fullest. They are hiding. Awajui bomb itaangukia nyumba. I am fine. We are not in physical war. We are in spiritual war still. Many of us go to some of these uh, afflicted slum areas. People are not living their full life. We have been reduced to, you know, survival. Chakula itatoka wapi? Maji msafi itatoka wapi? Afya ya mtoto itatoka wapi? Ata ya mtu mzima. That's not full life. Oh. No. God didn't put here on earth just to, you know, just to survive, just to give birth. We have been reduced to the point where if, if, if you've given birth and, 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 and your kids have grown up, become adults, you, you, you count yourself successful. Oh. What of the other things? It's not a, it's a, it's a great thing. I, I pray God that my kids will get there. But it's not the only thing. That's not, the mandate is not only to fill the world. We have to display, to show the glory of God. We've got to reach out to other nations who don't even know him, as we do, as we've been privileged here in Kenya. Anyway, so those are part of the role profiles. If, if, you're in, if you're already interested, if this is something that, you know, you, 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 it's resonating with you, kindly reach out. We, we have a, 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 an email link. Uh, to this program to perspective from above kindly reach out let us know let's see how we can work let's begin organizing and and moving together and taking these actions let's let's not let's not wait till last minute what kenya sengine to akwa last minute let don't wait we need you now god needs you now kuna kazi we are knocking every door in this nation we are talking to everybody in the marketplaces, in the schools, in the hospitals, in the homes, in the churches, in the mosques, in the vehicles, in the, in the, in the farms, in the grazing fields, everywhere, in the port, in the railway, everywhere, airport. Tunaongea kila mtu, they must know. We, we, need, we need an inevitable kind of action. Uh, Jonah chapter 3. See, when, the, when, when Jonah finally got to Nineveh and he says the city has three days to repent, the, the king issued a decree. It in, he, he, akasema watu wa fast, mpaka wanyama, mpaka watoto. This is the kind of thing we are looking for at GC 2022. We are not saying repent. We are saying organize ourselves and deliver the, uh, the votes for God's choices across this nation. That's, that's an never kind of response and a national response. This, these matters will continue on being clearer. In, 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 like in the next episode, we will be dealing with the topic, what's on God's agenda for Kenya after the 2022 election? Because God has an agenda for Kenya. So we'll be exploring that in deeper and we'll be putting links to all the prophecies where we have distilled that from. Yeah, please join us then also. Tell others about it so they'll, they'll join us. Yeah, as we go along, everything will become clearer. I already told you there's 1,450 wards in Kenya and we want representatives in all of them. We want campus champions, corporate champions in the campuses, in the colleges. If you're in a sports team, we, we, we want you to be a champion there. If you, if you are under an employer, you're, you're in a company, in a business, even in government, and you have, you have your groupings there, Christian Union and others, prayer groups, in estates, we want you to be the champions there. We want to reach every estate, every village. Please join.
I already told you we are a loose caucus. We are an interest group only. We do not intend to register a political party or a church. No, we, that's not what our intention is. There are enough political parties, enough churches. So we are not, we are not registering an, another one again. Our mission is pure, simple, and clear. It is to put the correct action to our faith in God's word for this nation at this time. Let me take it again. Our mission at GC 2022 is to put the correct action to our faith in God's word for this nation of Kenya at this time. We believe in God's word. We believe in his prophets. What his prophets, what his servants have declared over this nation and about the next election and the candidature there. Those, what they have said, is part of God's word. And we believe in it. We have faith in what they have said. I have been talking to quite a number of believers. I was, I've been pleasantly surprised to find that some of them already know that God's preferred candidate for presidency is Honorable Dr. William Ruto, who is the fifth president and commander-in-chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, according to our action in faith on the voting day next year. So we, we are putting action. All that which I've told you above in this video, that those are the actions that we are putting to the, to that to, to believing that what the servants of God, unless you don't believe them. And if you if you don't believe them, then why are you listening to them? Yeah. God will find another generation. Remember Israel, when when the ten spies said we can't go into the promised land because they are giants. Only two spies said, let's go forward. That generation, it, it lost its destiny in God. They all died in the desert. Don't let that happen to us in Kenya. For me, a simple man, a simple guy, wamta. Wangino ananiambianga, Ras. Me, Ras na nyumba yake, we have determined to obey God. Not just to believe him, but to obey him. Join me. If you are a servant of God, fivefold ministry, if you are a believer, you've just been, been born again, if you are just a Kenyan who wants to do the will of the God of the Bible, if you are not clear what to do, do this. If you are not sure of what choices to make, make this choice that we are asking you to make in this program. Put action to your faith in God's word for this great nation of Kenya at this time. It's important. It's critical, not just important. Actually, this is a turn point national assignment for the body of Christ in Kenya. Let me take that again. This assignment to bring God's choices into office in 2022 is a turn point national assignment for you, the body of Christ in Kenya. Hear me. It's a turn point. It's a turn point. What does that mean? It means we can turn, we can make this nation move into its glorious destiny by what we do in this election. Or we can fail to obey and secure God's wrath and God's judgment over ourselves. It's a turn point assignment for the entire body of Christ. Atuwezi ambia watu amwamini mungu wafanye na sisi atunangangana, atufanyi. We are still arguing about it. We are, we are, we are still, we are still uh, playing uh, our, 
our uh, you know our sector uh, our denomination of cards or oh, mimi sitakana mtu fulani sitakana bishop fulani god is calling us all of us to naenda mbinguni all of all of us who believe in jesus as the savior we are going to heaven uko utasema mimi ni wa, ni wa faith fulani kwetu tunabatisanga na na, na musalaba maji na na, na kwa wanawekanga kwa maji wanatumbukiza is that what you are going to say in heaven shame on you shame i'm 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 sorry fathers and mothers i'm sorry Some, sometimes ninaskia moto inawaka because god is talking to a church in the whole country don't be lukewarm god will spew you out don't be lukewarm take sides be biased for jesus be biased for what he's telling you to do be zealous for christ don't be lukewarm mm -mm. amua you are lukewarm me na ikikuja ile ya end time 66 utafanyaje tutasema si dini yetu si kanisa yetu It's a turn point moment for the national it's a turn point moment for the body of Christ in Kenya. It's not God waiting on us to get to that uh, it's not us waiting on God sorry it's not us who are waiting on God so that we can realize that great apostolic mandate over this nation. It's not us waiting on God. Mm -mm. God is waiting on us. Alisha declare, will you step out in faith? Alisha declare, just the way you got born again. Ulisikia neno, uka believe, uka sema, forgive me Jesus, na I am born again, na ukawa born again. It's the same way. There's an apostolic moment, whatever, mandate over the nation. He's declared it already. Take it up then. Step on the water. Jesus didn't say many complicated things. Come. Na pita kakanyanga maji. Now God is telling you, come. Give me the leaders that I want over your nation. Come. Join us. This caucus is out to do that. We shall do it. I am sure we are going to do it. Let's stand up and take back our country. We, we need, this country is being taken by others, by our enemies. Which are these enemies? Destiny killers. Those who are blocking your individual destiny. There's things in your destiny that you might be struggling, even if you didn't know, to do. Raise funds to go to school. Secure correct healing, uh, health services build a ministry build a business ni wale wa biashara mnajua me have done many in my time zingine i worked out one business I, I i worked out at the airport i i left everything there why cuz i couldn't continue to 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 corrupt customs officials and then go and pay tithe I was so convicted one time, I, 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 I walked out, I left everything, and I decided to take the loss. God came in miraculously though, but you, you people who are in business, Munajua, how difficult. Abu imagine that you run matatu bila corruption, Kenya. God wants you to do matatu business. Nawe unapeleka faida yako, tithe 10% kanisani. 10% are corruption. There's destiny killers. They are fighting your destiny. Corruption is taking one third of our budget, two billion a day for 365 days. Abu you. They are the tribal cocoons, those who perpetuate, wanna skuma that tribal agenda. That especially say Akura. Oh, Tutaku, tutataka ku consolidate kura za kabila fulani 
and then wakipata wakimpea hiyo kura si hiyo kabila itarudi kusema sisi tulikupea kura zetu tupeni makazi tupeni opportunity contract tenda unakuta kabila ndio inapewa tenda mahali fulani is that how god would want us to run this nation is that a blessed way kuna spillers of blood i'm just touching touching but we'll do this more deeply in, in the next ex- episode when we are dealing with god's agenda for this nation after the elections coming elections kuna wale anamwaga damu do you know there are f- at least at least minimal 15 ways in which blood is being spilt in kenya blood of the innocent is being spilt of the innocent is being spilt in kenya Najua mnajua kina abortion na nini. Did you know corruption is a tool of bloodshed? Corruption. And we've all engaged in it. Hmm? Because when we are corrupt and there are no drugs in KNH, watu wana line up eh, wanakufa wakiwa kwa line kutibiwa cancer. Hiyo si bloodshed. And by the way we've all engaged in it. If your leader has engaged in it, you have also engaged in it. So um, 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 if, 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 if you don't join this, this, this revival, you know you're robbing yourself. You are robbing yourself. It's a Kairos moment. Stand up. It's a right, opportune, critical moment to take back our nation and to...